Hello everybody and welcome to today's video about the Humble Bundle Python Dev Kit. If you don't know what Humble Bundle is, they offer some nice things from the time from time to time uh, for mostly games and books, etc. And this time they have a Python developer kit that I believe is absolutely worth it. You get access to software, books and some services for a price of less than $20 or exactly $20 depending on how much you want to spend. Basically you go to humblebundle.com and I believe the Python dev kit should be listed in there. Uh, there you go. Um, and It comes with a couple of things. Uh, just one thing, please note it's only 10 days and 10 hours left so this is going to be like uh, the 16th of May when this uh, Humble Bundle ends, so be quick. Uh, so what do you get? If you pay the minimum amount, which is $1, you just unlock a two-month subscription to PyCharm Professional Edition. That's an IDE if you don't know it yet. Uh, most of you probably know the PyCharm Community Edition, which is for free. The PyCharm Professional Edition is absolutely worth its price, uh, especially if you only pay $1 for a two-month subscription. That's pretty cool. Um, there is some ebooks involved as well that I don't know yet, but I will check them out uh, and give you a, a quick review. Um, if you pay $15 or more, you actually do get a six month subscription uh, instead of the two month subscription, which is also pretty cool because, I mean, it's more PyCharm for you. And you do get like Git Kraken Pro, which is a Git client that I don't know if it is actually worth it. Uh, I really don't know. Please ask the internet about it. I'm pretty much a Git command line user, and maybe I use the PyCharm IDE for Git. That's it. Uh, Thoughtful Machine Learning with Python, which I believe could be a pretty cool book. Um, you, it's from O'Reilly. Um, I'll also give you a review about that. And if you pay $16.26, which is the average of what people are paying at the moment, uh, you do get a book called Mastering PyCharm, which could be helpful if you haven't done PyCharm at all. Uh, although I believe you get used to PyCharm pretty quickly. It's really a great idea without uh, much things to think about. But what's really, really cool, for $16.26, you get a $50 credit for DigitalOcean. Now, those of you that don't know what DigitalOcean is, DigitalOcean is a web hoster uh, that hosts within the cloud, similar to Amazon, uh, but I, I guess a little bit uh, smaller. But it's it's widely used by, well, like these are some example companies, I think Docker, GitLab and Slack, uh, most of you will have heard one of them at least. Um, the nice thing is you don't have to order a server and like wait for a week or something to be to be provisioned, uh, but instead you just select what you want from a droplet or from a storage or from other tools and services like load balancers or monitoring. And you just say, I want that and I want it now and you can get it now and you pay basically per hour. Like this one is uh, three cents per hour or twenty dollars per month. I don't know how the billing actually work. Uh, please don't ask me that. Uh, just take a couple of looks at uh, at yeah at reviews of DigitalOcean. However, it is nice for trying things out with DigitalOcean, especially if you want to try out some Django things, Docker things, etc., etc. But it is definitely not the cheapest option. I mean, you can get a, a server for five dollar a month with one virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory and twenty five gigabit of SSD and one terabyte of transfer. That should be enough for trying things out, really. Uh, but I'm I'm not making like uh, advertisement for any of these companies. I'm not getting paid at all. Uh, but I can definitely recommend Python anywhere if you just want to get some things running. I think the the free server that they offer do they still offer a free server? Yeah, beginner. Uh, Zero dollars per month. You can host one Python application. 
you don't get your own domain, but you probably don't need it either if you just want to try things out. But you get something like your username.pythonanywhere.com. You can only have one worker, so it's like one thread that you have. And you can spawn two consoles to try things in, like a Python console or a MySQL console. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, really basic. You don't get much of CPU, you don't get much of cron. You don't get much of a storage, but for trying things out with Django, that's absolutely enough. And if you want to upgrade like to the $5 thingy, you already get a lot of things. Uh, and you can, consequently, you can consequently upgrade to higher accounts if you need to. However, it definitely depends on what you really need. If you're in the game for a virtual server, like you want to keep a virtual server for two, three, four years, forever, I don't know. Uh, like there is better hosts out there like Python anywhere has the benefit of that you can it's it's already set up it works with Python DigitalOcean has a lot of tutorials has a lot of different services you can you can book I mean like look at that you can have a, a 30 a 32 CPU server if you want um, it's really a question of if you need something like that and if you really do need something like that I believe there is a cheaper option, but if you just need it for an hour or so, I, I guess this is a cool option. Like, if you want to do machine learning and you want to have your algorithm work with 32 cores, sure, I mean, just book that server for an hour or for a day. You're free to do whatever with the $50 of, of credit, as far as I know. All right, <laughs> enough advertisement for hosts that don't pay me a penny. Uh, there is also a Python book, Python Tricks, the book that I believe could be good. Again, I don't know it yet. I'll give you a review about it. And now if you pay $20, that's like the the most that you can pay at the moment, or 16 euros 71 at the current price, uh, you will unlock a one-year subscription to PyUp. I've mentioned PyUp in another video. PyUp is uh, a pretty neat service that gives you automated security and dependency updates. So let's assume you have your Python repo on GitHub. And you're like, hey, can you notify me when there is an update for Django that has a security leak or something in it? Or if there is an update to insert random Python library that almost nobody uses, but it's listed on PyUp. And you will get notified, you will get a pull request by PyUp and it will tell you, let's see, there we go, this is something, no. Yeah, well, it is kind of, this is a pull request. It will modify your requirements.txt file and make a pull request and to be like, hey dude, there is a thingy and update and if you have automated tests set up within GitLab, uh, GitHub, I mean, then obviously those tests will run when the pull request gets in and you will already get notified and like yeah it's uh, you should upgrade everything still works fine according to your tests uh, so be it that's pretty cool it is free for public repositories so I guess if you have the, the one year subscription you can use private repositories on github yeah um, there is different options available obviously I don't know the pricing yet but let's check it out what's the pricing I guess it would be a personal account which is $15 a month what do they offer here in the humble bundle one year subscription $5.99 um, that is really that's $50 a month that is probably the organizational uh, repository then well, uh, if that is it, then <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, pretty much this is a great service. Uh, I want to show you an example. I believe I have. Yeah. I've registered PyUp with this repository of mine. Uh, I'm not actively, like doing something with that repository so I've ignored the pull request but this is the pull request you get this is like the initial one it will tell you this is my first visit and hey hey you should upgrade PyMySQL from 0 0.7.9 to 0 0.7.11 you should upgrade NumPy from 1.13 point star asterisk whatever uh, which is 
not good to have in your requirements txt for some reasons uh, to that version and it will give you the change log of these libraries like it'd be like oh what has been fixed and it's been like oh there's a security fix and security fixes are in bold and the same is true for numpy i mean it will give you a lot of information about what has changed and this could be information for you to be like yeah um this thing is not compatible or oh yeah yeah sure um i don't care this should work it's quite a comprehensive list depending on the library obviously if the library doesn't provide that list your uh yeah you're out of luck scrolling 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 i'm gonna fast forward the scrolling here <laughs> all right all right all right all right okay and it basically consists of two commits and let's see what has actually changed almost nothing i mean PyMySQL and NumPy. So this is a very basic commit. Uh, had I set up some tests, some automated tests for this repository, they would have been executed like they are on GitHub. So pretty cool stuff. All right, what else is there? Egghead.io. I actually don't know what that is. It's some site, some thing of like learning platform. Um, I guess that's cool. Oh, it's a six month subscription. I will check it out actually. Maybe there's some cool. Fluent Python is another book by O'Reilly, and yeah, it tells you some things about Python. <laughs> and a six month subscription to Postman Pro. If you don't know Postman, Postman basically uh, is a tool for executing REST API calls. I mean, you can use CURL or WGET or HTTP or Python's request library or whatever you want to execute a, a request. But if you want to try out your 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 REST framework, for instance, or an API you build with Django, Postman is pretty cool. Um, other than that, the subscription that they're offering here, I'm, I'm not sure if that's really worth it. You do get Postman for free, if that is the same Postman. Uh, plans and pricing. Yeah, you do get it for free. The most complete ABI development environment, yeah. Um, the Postman Pro apparently offers collaboration features and nearly unlimited usage of advanced features for power users. Oh my god, <laughs> they couldn't have written that better, right? Um, okay. I guess the, the free version is absolutely enough. Uh, if you want to use the pro version from that, um, yeah, I'm just not sure if this is recommendable at all. Uh, but in all, uh, uh, in total, the twenty dollars that you spend, you do get one year of PyAppIO Professional, so you can use private repositories if you want. You do get like some learning platform for Python, etc. Uh, you do get this book. You do get Postman. You do get a Digital Ocean credit. You do get a PyCharm 6 month subscription. You get another good book that I will review, as I said. Yeah. Um, yeah, so far, that's it. Um, I'm going to get that bundled. And I, I can just recommend for you I mean, it's $20. Like, if you have that spare money and you want to learn Python, that's pretty cool. If you already know Python and you're like, oh, all these professional services are like pretty great, I want to get them too. If you're just like, yeah, I want to try out some things. I'm not sure about DigitalOcean. I might need PyCharm, but the Community Edition is fine. I don't care about these books. Then really just use the, the smallest one with with $1. I mean, you get a two-month subscription to PyCharm Professional, which should be enough time for you to, to try out the PyCharm Professional Edition compared to the Community Edition. Although you have a 30-day trial with PyCharm Professional. Um, yeah, it's 10 days, so May 16th, something like that. And yeah, if you have any comments about that, if you want to get that bundle, if you have some review about the books that are in there, or you can recommend or disrecommend any of the books, uh, please feel free to leave a comment on my page or on this video rather than that. I will link this humble bundle thing in the video description. It will not have a uh, affiliate link or something. I don't care. Like I don't even know if Humble Bundle has something like that. I will just give you the, the pure link to humblebundle.com. 
and you can click on that. All right, that's it for today. Bye-bye.